I will address two myths and make a connection between them in such a way to make a story. In the first myth, we see Ram and Lakshman in battle against Meghnad, Rawan Kumar, Indrajit. That Meghnad fired the, the Nagpa, the snake weapon, against Ram and Lakshman. They are both wrapped up in this snake. Nagpa is, is a snake, right? See? I, I cover the snake in other stories. So, Hanuman, who is the vehicle of Ram, power of wind, and I did that in my story of wind. Hanuman could not break this Nagpash, the snake rap. So he hears a voice and he says, go and find the crow who is singing the Ramayana. So, that crow says, um, go and find Garud. He's the vehicle of Vishnu. Only he, what's his name? I said uh, the vehicle of Vishnu, um, Garud. Only Garud can break this Nag Pass. So Garud come and break this Nag, Nag Pass. Ram and Lakshman is released. So we leave that for now. Let's go to another story. Um, Kwai Chan King from the Kung Fu series. Shaolin. He says, um, what, what the hell did he say? A, a hunter follows a bear into a cave. And the hunter becomes trapped. And now the hunter becomes the hunted. So how do you resolve this? You remove the food that the bear was after. If you remove the food, there is no bear, there is no hunter, and the eye is free. So this is the two myths we are looking for. One is the Garud that removes the Nagpash and the food that the bear is after in the cave. I put it to you like this. When you are what I will call in your favorite spot, in your obsession, where you find your most joy, that is the food that the bear is after. Huh? Now, what we have to see is that uh, Ram and Lakshman, let's just say it's like Knowledge and activity, huh? And the snake, the Nagpash, is the impulse to life that wraps up these knowledge and say, okay, this is what I always do in my favorite spot, in my obsession. Hmm? Only Garud can break that. See, Garud vehicle of Vishnu is like this. If you have, if you are after that, you get it. And it's done. There's no other way. But in the Shaolin style, they say, if before you start out, you know what you are, you are after, you resolve that. You see, when you engage in your favorite spot, you just say, oh, boom, 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 I like, I like, I like. Oh, I could get that. Oh, I could win. Oh, I could make. Really? Have you done that before? Have you really accomplished? Judge it. See what it's worth. And remove that food. There is no bear, there is no hunter, and the eye is free. Now here's the, the, the tricky question. If, uh, like in the Ram and Anuman and Garud case, if you just say, okay, that's what I do, I just go and do it and fall asleep, I come back the next day, I start again. Well, then you're always there, isn't it? But if you know what you are after, you resolve that situation before you engage in the 
Oh, ha, 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 I like, I like, boom, 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 like that, you see? Or you say, oh, if I get, if I win, if I make. If you can solve that, then you wouldn't go through the step of this and then that and then, and, and then so. This is what we call the dharma, the Tao, uh, the flow. I could go, I could get, I could make, I could do. But if somehow you realize that, hey, wait a minute, I do this damn thing every day, and it comes back. Then you say, hey, listen, man, it's time to give it up. It's time for a change. See in yourself what you are after and what is what for you and the world. And then you say, I have lived and now I am going to die. I am Aten Raj Indra Nath, interpreter.